Hello, in this video I'm going to describe some of the features about File Explorer. File Explorer is an application that's pre-installed on Windows computers and it's basically Windows' way of showing you what applications and files are on your computer. So just for the basics of File Explorer, a lot of the stuff and the folders that you need to use will be over here on this left panel. So the desktop folder will just show you what's on your desktop right now. The downloads folder will show you anything you recent, may recently have downloaded from online. Documents is kind of just like a place to save and a bunch of different files. Pictures will have any pictures you've saved with your camera or imported from phones. Music will have any music that you have on your computer and the same with videos except with video files. This one, this OneDrive link is uh, basically Microsoft's way of incorporating OneDrive into their File Explorer. This PC is a bunch of subfolders and different information about your computer. So, like, I can go into this Windows 10 part, and it'll open up a bunch of different folders, like the Users folder. And that'll list all the users, and if you go into their individual folders, it'll show all of their files. And then there's this network tab down here, and that'll have anything that your network has on it, like share drives. So just for some stuff that you can do with File Explorer, you can just right-click and uh, just change your viewing refresh it so folders and different things can be uh, changed if you had recently edited them. You can right click on different folders and share them, scan them with Windows Defender, pan or unpin them from uh, Quick Access. Quick Access is like a little uh, tab in File Explorer. They'll show you uh, some of the primary sections of File Explorer as well as some recently opened files. You can pin this to start, so when you press start, it'll be right there. You can copy the folder or the path. You can create a shortcut to it. And uh, also, if you go to send to, you, this is how you create zipped folders. Then if you go to home, there are a bunch of different options for your files. Like You can pin them to quick access, just like when you right-clicked. Copy, pasting, cut, copying the path, and pasting the shortcut for if you're trying to identify where a file leads or where a file is led to. Move to and copy to will basically just make it so any file that I have in my music folder and I want to move it to downloads, that's what it'll do. Delete, that's pretty self-explanatory, as well as rename. New folder button will just create a new folder. The properties will show the properties of that folder. So I can go to properties on the video folder. And that'll open up this little pop-up right here that shows up like uh, how much size it takes up on the disk, uh, when it was created, what type is it, the user, and what it contains. If it's a folder, it can tell you the sharing of it, security features, customization options. You can revert it back to previous versions if something goes wrong with it, and you can see details about where it is. You can also go to share and you can do things like share it, email it, zip the folder so it's easier and more compact for sharing. You can fax it, print it, burn it to a disk. You can remove access from certain users and you can go to advanced security options if you wish to. You can also go to the view tab. You can edit the different uh, navigation features. You can change how the File Explorer looks just with these multiple different options. You can use these to uh, change sorting. And uh, these item like these item checkboxes, you can make it so items have check checkboxes next to them. Hidden items, if you check that, if someone checks the box in properties, that makes it so a file is hidden, then all of those files will be shown, the 
hidden checkboxes right there. You just can click apply. Let's say it's to that folder. And then if I turn off show hidden items, then that folder is still there because of what I checked. But normally it'll just make that disappear and then you won't be able to see it regularly unless you have that box checked. Then there are some different settings for File Explorer that you can go into in the Options tab. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. And we, on our channel, we post different videos about the Cyber Patriot competition and cybersecurity in general. So if you're looking for tips on cybersecurity, check out our past videos. And thank you for watching.